from the heart of the jungle comes a savage cry of victory. This is Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. Bizarre Brain Comics. Hello, my comic book friends, and welcome to Bizarre Brain Comics. I am Gary, your host. This is where I like to take a look at some older comics, talk a little bit about the characters and creators, and examine the stories and the art. Except for this time. This is going to be part two of my photo covers from Dell Comics featuring Gordon Scott as Tarzan. And this, this will conclude these photo covers of Gordon Scott, anyway. And uh, these are all from uh, 1958. This one here. And um, uh, last time I uh, told you a little bit about uh, the actor Gordon Scott, who was <clears throat> portraying uh, Tarzan. His And his first uh, Tarzan movie was, of course... Uh, uh, Tarzan's Hidden Jungle, and that's in which, uh, <coughs> and co-starred in that movie, it had no Jane, but did have a lady doctor in it, and uh, uh, she was played by Vera Miles, and uh, that after after that, Gordon Scott and Vera Miles got married, they were, uh, but they were together, uh, married for five years before they, they got divorced, and they did have one child together, and uh, his, uh, and then, of course, his next film was uh, Tarzan and the Lost Safari, which I talked about a little bit about last time. But in uh, 1958, which is the, uh, the year these books came out, uh, had uh, Tarzan's Fight for Life. Now, uh, the Lost Safari was, was shot, all shot on location in Africa. And... Uh, then, when they did Tarzan's Fight for Life, it was uh, much m more poorly uh, written, and it was all shot um, in the studio, uh, utilizing a lot of the um, the uh, uh, location footage from the previous film. And um, that is the only theatrical Tarzan movie that he made uh, that had uh, Jane in it. Uh, after that, they had uh, Tarzan and the Trappers, which was actually uh, TV uh, pilots for a TV show, which is late, labor, later put together as a as a movie run on TV. And that also had Jane, uh, and that Jane was played by the actress Eva Brent, very very lovely young lady, uh, may very well have been the loveliest uh, actress to play. To play Jane in in uh, any of those Tarzan movies, and they did not. Now, at this time in the in the comic books, of course, they, they had Jane, and they had uh, had Boy. Now, Boy had only been in the movies with Johnny Weissmuller, uh, played by Johnny Sheffield, until he outgrew the part. Then they start the, the same producers uh, produced a series of uh, Bomba the Jungle Boy uh, uh, movies, featuring. Uh, starring John Johnny Sheffield Sheffield as uh, as Bomba until again he aged out of the part and uh, he did Tarzan and the Trappers then he had uh, after that in, in uh, 1959 uh, he starred in this time period uh, the rights changed changed hands from Saul Lesser who was also producing at this time. Uh, um, a Tarzan radio program, which the the opening of which uh, you heard at the beginning of this of this video, which was by and large a better writ, per, uh, written production than those those earlier those uh, Tarzan movies at the time, uh, and uh, the um, um, La Safari uh, did fairly well at the box office and was much better written. So when it changed hands from Saul Lesser to uh, Cy Weintraub, Weintraub uh, that's when he they made uh, Tarzan's Greatest Adventure. Uh, they took a look at, 
at uh, what worked there. And so they went back, shot it on location again, got rid of the Ugg, Ugg, t Me, Tars, and You, Jane dialogue, uh, completely eliminated uh, um, Jane uh, entirely. And and boy, now with when Lex Barker was playing uh, was playing Tarzan, they had another boy, but he wasn't boy. His name was Joey. Uh, he was another uh, um, orphan that Tarzan and Jane had adopted. Now here, in the in the uh, um, with with uh, Eva Brent as as Jane, he had another boy, uh, orphan boy that they had adopted for the for those two things and his name was was um was tartu and i think it might have been short for tarzan too but they called him tartu and that was the last of those then had uh, tarzan's greatest adventure and it was indeed a, a great tarzan adventure movie uh very action-packed and one of the villains in that film was played by Sean Connery. And so Tarzan, they even used it in build, uh, building uh, later when it was re-released. Uh, uh, Tarzan kills James Bond. Because <laughs> he did. Yeah, this is issue 101 with that one. Here we have uh, a very rough copy of issue 102. And these are all, like I said, from 1958. And issue 104, The Voice of Mumamba. And I think that that shot is taken from the uh, Lost Safari. Um, and then, oh, uh, one other thing is in Tarzan's Greatest Adventure, there was a female character. Uh, and she was a, ro uh, uh, a slight romantic interest for Tarzan. And she was also played by Eva Brent, who had previously played Jane. But she was not Jane. She was a lady pilot. And then in uh, 1960 was the last of the Gordon Scott movies. Uh, Tarzan the Magnificent, um, which had no relation to the novel of the same title. And that was a, another one uh, uh, shot on, on location in Africa. They, they used, re, again, reused some footage, most particularly the uh, some native dance uh, footage from that was shot in uh, for La Safari and used in Tarzan the Magnificent. And a very interesting feature with this was that the villain in this movie was played by Western actor Jock Mahoney, who then took over the role of Tarzan in the next movie. So that was, that was quite interesting, I thought. And uh, after that... Uh, uh, he didn't want to get typecast as as Tarzan too much. That was one of issue one hundred four, and another copy of it, issue one hundred four, uh, duplicates there. And then here we have issue one hundred five, Burning in the Jungle, Eyes of Fire. Oh, that, that's a real um, uh, tense shot right there. Look at that, his uh, blade in his mouth, and uh, on a tree limb, about ready to pounce on someone. After uh, after that, uh, uh, Scott moved to Italy, where he starred in a bunch of uh, Italian sword and sandal uh, movies, uh, in Gladiators, Hercules types, and um, he also did some uh, some westerns and uh, spy type thrillers in Italy. And then he he retired from acting in uh, 1965, I think it was. And that's what we've got for. Gordon Scott on his a little background on him. Yeah, oh, that's a good one. That's a real good one. Then we have 106, a very rough copy. Prisoners of Castrum Mare. I, I remember that one. That uh, and as I said, remember they had boy in these in these uh, books, even though at the at the time they did, but they did not have cheetah. There was only one instance that I well. Uh, later during the time of the Tarzan TV series starring Ron Ely, uh, they had a few um, issues that tied into the uh, TV show, and they had Cheetah in that, in those. This is uh, issue 106. It's uh, very rough. It says, uh, cover detached. 
Here's issue 107. The Mysterious Valley of Monsters. And again, again all this, the interior artwork is done by uh, Jesse Marsh and ri uh, written, uh, drawn, by, yeah, written by um, uh, Gaylord Dubois, as far as we know. And with the exception of the backup stories that was uh, of uh, Brothers of the Spear done by Russ Manning. And, and as you can see, flanking these books here, uh, some stuff by Russ Manning, who was a superior draftsman to uh, uh, Jesse Marsh, although the Jesse Marsh stories were very enjoyable, and I, again, I don't badmouth Jesse Marsh. And these would usually have a lead, a lead story uh, with uh, Tarzan, uh, solo uh, Tarzan adventure, and then often have one with uh, uh, featuring uh, Jane and or Boy with Tarzan. This is 107. And then there's another good one. 108. And that is the last of, of my copies of photo covers featuring Gordon Scott. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure what issue they stopped the photo. Uh, the photo covers probably just a couple after this. This is uh, 58, and uh, and I still I have several from 59 and and 60. So it's probably just one or two issues after this, if not the, if not this being the last one, uh, being the last of the photo covers. Then they go back to to the great cover uh, uh, painted covers. So that's what I've got this time. To finish up. My Dell Comics Gordon Scott photo covers of Tarzan. But I have many, many, many more Tarzan comics to go through. So tell me what you think. Do you like that little bit uh, about the background of Gordon Scott? Yeah. And do you like the photo covers? Do you prefer the photo covers over the painted covers or vice versa? Let me know. And if you have any any questions about anything at all, <laughs> well, within reason, uh, that I might have a chance of answer, uh, being able to answer about myself, about my comics, anything like that, ask me in the comments below. And remember, comics are art.